Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another Fox Body project video. This video focuses on my former 1986 Mustang GT convertible, which I purchased in November of 2009. I've nicknamed this project the Second Chance Vert, since this was the second four-eyed Mustang convertible that I've owned, and I gave this car a second chance at life. Here's a few pictures of the car when I first brought it home. I started work on this project in May of 2010. The first order of business was to replace the driver's side door pins, bushings, and one of the hinges as the door sagged very bad. Here's a few before and after picks. Next, I needed to replace the driver's side front fender with a used one. However, the lower front section of the used fender needed to be replaced due to some pretty bad rust hiding under the fender extension. I actually used part of the original fender for the donor sheet metal. Note that the weld line will be filled and it's also covered by the body side molding. Using 60 grit sandpaper on my electric jitterbug sander, I went into what I call discovery mode where you get to find all the hidden treasures of body men past. Here's the driver's side basically stripped of two layers of paint. I ended up using chemical stripper on the hood to remove the old cracked decal. And here's the final result of the stripping and sanding process. Once the sheet metal is clean, I added a coat of high build primer. After spending a few hours each night in the garage, I was done with discovery mode. Most of the car was sanded down to bare metal or the factory primer. Because I hit a messy garage, I pulled the car out for cleaning. Here's the mess. The car was also full of dust from sanding. So after a quick sweep up, I broke out a hose to clean the garage floor. And using compressed air and a rag, I also blew off the car. Thankfully, not much work was required on the passenger side, just a few small spots of rust and normal door dings. If you notice the red spots, those are the dings. I left those so that they're easier to find when I get back to the side to apply the plastic body filler. And finally, the vert is in the clean garage and back up on jack stands. Next, I started working on the driver's side door. There was significant rust and rot that needed to be cut out, so out came the cutoff wheel. There was another spot along the lower rear of the door skin. The inner door frame is pretty foobarred beyond some simple patches. So here's what's left over after all the cutting. For the repair process, first was to fab up some patch panels for the lower inner door frame. Here's the door frame completed. I used a string to make sure everything stayed straight. Here's the patch panel on the lower edge of the door. And here are all the patch panels welded up and the welds ground down ready for filler. Finally, a shot of the inner door frame all welded up and ready for final finishing. I worked on the fenders and the driver's side door off the car since this was much easier on my back. Here's the driver's side door pretty well set, ready for final putty. And both fenders are ready to go. Note that I treated the rusty areas such as the driver's side lower fender and around the inner fender lip with Eastwood's rust converter and rust encapsulator. 
The driver's side rear quarter panel had previous body work, so I used plastic body filler to complete the re-repair of that panel and then apply a coat of primer. There were some areas that needed to be repaired on the lower cowl structure and around the upper driver's side door hinge. Luckily, the passage side of this Mustang was a walk in a park. It really had just a handful of parking lot dings, and these pictures show everything all smoothed out. After a quick coat of gray primer over the sanded and smooth body filler, I applied final spot putty, the red stuff, to fill in all the remaining scratches and minor blemishes. Then it was on to wet sanding with 220. So now that the main body, except the trunk lid, is all ready to go in and primer. Here are a few shots still on jack stands prior to garage cleanup. This photo also shows that the front nose cone is about 90% done. It just needs a bit more wet sanding. I also sanded down the top of the rad support and treated it with rust converter and encapsulator. I'll paint this area when I do the door jams of the car. So I did another garage clean out. I pulled the car out of the garage and unmasked anything that was covered up. Here are the shots of the car back in the garage. And it doesn't look like much in these pictures, but this car has come a long way so far. Next project required me to strip out the interior. The reason for the mural interior is the floor rod, which is typical for Northeast New England Fox bodies. Here's the driver's side floor pan patched up, top side picture first, and from underneath. Here's a close up of the patch panels. I also had cracking near the rocker where the seat mounts. This will get a quick sanding primer job and then hit with some undercoating. In between all the bodywork, I also spent more money few cans of SEM trim paint and the mother load. Two quarts of chroma base urethane base coat in color code 2R and some other odds and ends. I purchased a new trunk lid for Mustangs Unlimited. The original was too far gone with rock. These photos show the new trunk lid mounted. I had to drill the holes for the hinges and then tweak the lid a bit for best fit. Par for the course for an aftermarket replacement panel. Now we're into September of 2010. I'm following getting the car ready for some color. First was to prep the car by masking off all the jams. Later in the process, you'll see where I'll be using the Centauri acrylic enamel paint for the door jams, inside the trunk lid, etc. Once that's on, the car will get a final wet sanding and sprayed in the base coat clear coat your thing. Finally, the Centauri acrylic enamel paint went on the jams and the other areas. All pictures were taken without flash under the fluorescent lights in my garage. And remember the driver's side door looks a lot better now. The 
It's finally time to prep for final paint. First up was to mask off the car. Here are three coats of fresh 2R paint coat urethane base coat. Base coat went on really nice with virtually no issues. Then onwards to the clear coat. After paint was dry, I unmasked everything and brought the car back down on all fours. That's a wrap for part one of this video. Stay tuned for part two to see the completion of this 86 Mustang GT convertible. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe for future videos and updates.